Y, president of Peoria Firefighters Local 50. You're getting to it. What is the issue that we, we face? So the issue this morning at 0700 or 7 a.m. Uh, was the rescue squad right there was temporarily browned out or closed down for 24 hours today uh, due to us having to try to mitigate our overtime costs. I feel like one day won't make much of a difference. Why would they just pick one day? So this is a policy that fire administration has enacted to try to um, bring back some cost savings to allow us to operate under the twenty and a half million dollar budget that city administration has tasked the fire administration with. Um, as of right now, we are nine positions short. So it's not going to be just for one day. Um, we know just from looking at the people we have off that rescue one will be closed 46 times through July 31st at mm. this point. If a hiring situation occurs, meaning we fall below the three people that we are missing, and let's say we go to six, Rescue 2, which is located on Florence Avenue, Station 11, will then be closed. Give me an idea of how, what percentage of your fire, your fleet here, Rescue 1 is. How many trucks do you have? So we have 11 engine companies, four ladder trucks, and two rescue squads. So it, it would be um, darn near impossible to lose both of those if, if a situation occurs to try to respond in a timely manner the same way we do I can't say today because it closed down but yesterday versus today tomorrow will be back open but like you said there are going to be multiple days between now and July will be closed so looking at the schedule for tomorrow rescue one will again be closed tomorrow for another 24 hours so there'll be a 48 hour closure and then on Thursday it looks like it may reopen due to having um, enough staffing to keep it open. How does this impact your ability to respond, not just to fires, but heroin overdoses and the many things that you have to respond to? So at the end of the day, when we lose one company, whether it's an engine, a ladder truck, or a rescue squad, they're moving puzzle pieces, so to speak, in, in the bigger picture. And you start taking one or two of those out, it drastically will affect the way that we respond to things. Um, you know, obviously at Central House, there's engine one, there's truck one, and there's usually rescue one. Um, perception is going to be that fire service is not going to be impacted and we couldn't be farther from the truth. At the end of the day, our rescue squads are tasked with providing um, basic life and advanced life support medical skills uh, during medical emergencies. Um, if we have car accidents where uh, there's a person trapped, their primary responsibility is to use the jaws of life, our extrication tools, to get uh, that trapped motorist or visitor out of that vehicle. Um, not only uh, do we transition from the basic kind of medical accident thing to um, we'll, we'll just use a basic structure fire, a single family dwelling um, structure fire. Their main responsibility is to go in and search for victims that haven't come out, mm. locate them and remove them from the hazardous conditions that they're in. Um, and then, you know, expound upon the fact that that is our specialized, um, to put this in police terms, that is our SWAT team, so to speak. Um, they